And congratulations to our own Michael King for doing yet another story that's going to have people talking. <laughs> that's right. Well. He found the intersection between feng shui and cats. Right, Michael? Yeah, it used to be all a cat needed to get through the day was a good old bag of catnip, right? It is legal in Washington now, right? Yeah, I think so. But now there's inspiration from the Far East that opens up whole new worlds to kitties. We've featured hissing cats, purring cats, fluffy cats, shaved cats, stuffed cats, dead cats, wet cats, waving cats, incarcerated cats, clean cats, even cleaner cats, poor guy. But this cat is more centered, more harmonious, more in touch with her chi than the rest. When the founders of feng shui put their whole system together, you think they had cats in mind? <laughs> Cynthia Chomos makes her living as a feng shui consultant, speaker, and teacher. You know, what applies for humans applies for animals, too. When she got her orange tabby Serena, she used her expertise to make an outdoor home. From a feng shui perspective, I really wanted to make sure that the enclosure complemented the house because I didn't want it to look like a cage. Then Cynthia got to thinking. Probably about a month or two later that um, she was sitting on my lap and I just thought, wow, you know, feng shui for felines, why not? Why not indeed? She now designs and sells, not patios, but catios, based on the five elements of feng shui. Fire is represented by the color red. Earth by the stone floor. Metal by the wire mesh. Wood by the branches and stumps. And water by the fountain. First of all, the furniture, uh, the key seating is not in the direct path. Feng Shui is deeply rooted in a connection to nature. So the idea of having fresh air, having an element of water, of movement, of sound. There's, of course, a little catnip pick-me-up, too, ready when you need it, and your own private bathroom. Now, there will be some people who watch this will say, come on, please, Feng Shui for cats, are you kidding me? I say, why not? Every space counts. And our cats are like our children. And when the sun shifts, so does Serena to the window box veranda in front. The, the other day, a neighbor stopped by across the street. She's like, I was looking at your new window box, and she said, but there was a cat in it. <laughs> feng Shui is about harmonizing with the house. And so rather than look like a cage, I wanted it to be disguised uh, as a window box. So do you think that maybe uh, a Siamese cat might be my benefit since they're oh, from yes. the Far East? Absolutely. <laughs> Japanese bobtail, a Siamese, absolutely, they'd love it. <laughs> but as Serena proves, a feng shui catio can create feline tranquility for any breed. She is out there all the time. At night, I have to tap on the window and say, hey, come on in.